It's your holiness, his holiness, uh, calling to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. As you know, the United States of America is the only place in the world that has a beautiful day set aside for us to celebrate the day that we came here to colonize this great land. And we are thankful for the Europeans who came and we are thankful for the Europeans who came to get our ancestors and who brought us here and who allow us to be created and to be part of this great experiment in colonization. So we want to repeat on today that God bless the United States of America and nowhere else because uh, that's the only country. Uh, those of you out here in those shithole countries, Yes, those shit old places down in the Caribbean and up. <laughs> yeah, you all pretend to love Christ and love Jesus, but you all don't even have a day when you actually say thank you. Thank you for being a slave. Thank you for surviving it. And thank you for the inheritance of the Americas. So on today, I came to say um, whether or not you recognize the United States of America's Thanksgiving to all of you in the United States of America, citizens, residents, legal and illegal alike, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. We hope that you all are safe from this here pandemic. And hopefully uh, very soon we're going to call upon our ancestors to take the COVID away. Because even with all the experiments and all the talk of a vaccine, they are yet to get the handle and ha a handle on the Corona-19 virus. As always, this is your leader. And I know it's not very often you get to see me in person and count yourself to be blessed to see your holiness live and in human form, God in the living form. God bless you, I bless you, and I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, if you call yourself a voodoo master or witch doctor, you're supposed to look like some old decrepit person, the way they show those of our people in the movies and in the storybooks of the Westerners. Because they had made all of our practices and our beliefs and our religions uh, to be hidden from us. Yes, that's what they did. They took it and they hid it from us. And then they gave it to us actually within the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Or maybe we could say the unholy Roman Catholic Church. And all of the other evangelical uh, churches and the Pentecostal and the um, whatever you call those things when you went for Reformation and they broke away from the one and only church that was then in Europe. You know, there are two sides to the, to the Christian dome in Europe. You have the Eastern Rite and you have the Western Rite. The Western Rite is in Rome. I believe the Eastern Rite, the Pope is in Greece or maybe even still in Constantinople, but I doubt it very much because of Islamic fascism. However, the African peoples and the peoples of Egypt practice a whole different belief system. And the belief is that God is man and man is God. And there is no other but you and I. You see, Jesus didn't bring or isn't bringing a COVID-19 vaccine. We have to figure that shit out. And you know why we got to figure that shit out? Because we are the gods of the earth. You know, often when you need help or you need somebody to come to your aid and you sit there and you just pray, it's always another human being a woman or a man who's going to come to help you. And so until you understand that voodoo is not what they told you, until you understand that witchcraft, uh, witch doctrine 
is not what they told you and it's okay for you to come and watch. It's okay for me to guide it for you and to tell you what things are going to be. It's just a consultation, no different from a financial consultation. So I can guide it and I can tell you what is to come, the future, to read, to be a seer, a seer of things to come. On the eve of the Thanksgiving of the United States of America, I want to give a warm blessing to each and every one of you, whether or not you are in the United States or not. But I tell you, it's one great damn thing to be in the United States of America. Oh, my God. I ain't never seen a place like this. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. You can't get me out of here. You cannot get me out of here. Not even Trump. And he tried. Trump tried, even though I supported him. What a traitor. What a traitor. He would turn on his own when he had a chance to. But I didn't give him a chance. And I got him. You know, because he kind of fucked up the Republican Party. Made it hard for me. And I'm trying to come up in the party. They, most people think I was in labor or UWP. No, I'm in the fucking Republican Party. As the voodoo master and as the witch doctor. God bless you. I bless you. And we'll see each other soon. And stay strong. Stay safe. Don't get sick. Whether it's COVID. Whether it's a stroke. Whether it's a heart attack. Whether it's high blood pressure. Low I, blood uh, pressure. Pope Emmanuel, honestly believe that the Constitution of the United States of America needs to be changed such that a person like myself can run to be the president of the United States of America. I am currently contemplating to run even with my tainted reputation as a voodoo master and a witch doctor for which all the Christian peoples and the fake Christians will attempt to persecute, not prosecute, but persecute me and to burn me at the stake as if I was in Salem. However, I have come to realize my great talent and my ability, and I can say certainly if Donald Trump could be president of the United States, I should have the right. And if they were contemplating it for Arnold Schwarzenegger, a man who was having sex with his maid and had a child with his maid, and dishonored the royalty of the Kennedy family that they could change the constitution for him to become president. I believe that I too should have the opportunity to become president. The constitution should be changed. But prior to that, I wanted to say that there is a disconnect in the United States of America. Those of you in the United States of America, Donald Trump and some people seem to think that if the Dow Jones Industrial hit 30,000, that the average citizen in the United States of, of America is doing okay. But the truth is the majority of people in the United States of America do not have equities. They don't own stocks. They don't own mutual funds. They don't have a 401k. Okay? The majority of people cannot come up with $500 in an emergency in short notice. So when this goddamn idiots are out there acting like, oh, well, I'm going to have a seven minutes press conference and no, it's 45 seconds to say that the Dow Jones Industrial and the Dow Jones Industrial is just 30 stocks. So the citizens of the United States of America do not have those 30 stocks. And that shows the disconnect between the leadership in our country and in our inheritance. You see, if you understand that the United States of America is our inheritance, and I'm coming to claim it, I came to claim it. I have claimed it, and I'm going to continue to claim it. You understand? Then you'll understand that these people are totally disconnected because the average citizen born and raised here in the United States of America does not have a 401k, does not have stocks, and don't give a shit 
if the Dow Jones hit 60,000. So let me tell you this. We're going to change this here constitution and I'm going to be the first elected senator from the great state of Texas. Don't care how Christian they are. Don't care how racist they are. They're going to send the voodoo master to Washington and it's going to make history because I'm running to defeat Ted Cruz in the off-year election. It is Senator Lander, you know, just like in The Godfather, Senator Lander. Michael, I did not want this for you. I wanted it to be Senator Cor 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 Corion. It's not Coronaldi. <laughs> Don Corleon. Don Corleon. Senator Corleon. Michael Corleon. Senator Corleon. Senator Corleon. So it's going to be Senator Lander, Governor Lander, and President Lander. And I'm still going to introduce the voodoo because everybody knows that come this to, really... to say thank you for the great United States of America. We must all have turkey. So here we have turkey, premium turkey, all natural, butter boil, premium. You know, in America, when you eat butter boil, is it butter boil or butter ball? Butter ball. Butter ball. So when you eat butter ball, that is premium, you know. And when you eat premium, you're doing good. You're doing well. Anyway, I wanted to show you the premium. We had bought it in the middle and in the early phase of the pandemic. In case we ran out of food, we could cook it and have lots of food to cook it, feed us for at least two or three weeks. We would eat the meat, eat the meat, and then we would eat the bones. However, now we are celebrating Thanksgiving to be thankful that we are still alive. And we'll stay alive because we are the warriors. We are the people who have to stay around to keep the fight on. And the ancestors and even those who die now must pray for us and keep us strong. I bless you as always. And I bless this butterball. Butterball, I guess that's its name. I think it's defrosted, you know. I left it out overnight. I'm going to season it now. This is by far the most well-seasoned turkey in the United States of America. 20, well, it's more than 20 years. This is almost, what, 40 years in the making since I was taught. Uh, 40 years, almost 40 years now of God bless the United States of America and God bless the United States of America, Turkey. And this one I have prepared. It was thoroughly defrosted. We left, I put it out last night, left it in the sink overnight. So in order, we bought it in March and we froze it. And um, it's enough for the both of us. So it's going to be the two of us. And uh, it's not going to be a whole leftover uh, after that because we're going to probably end up eating all of it. But it's just right and it's going to be so tasty. It's got all the ingredients. This is my sage. This is sage, okay? I am probably will apply a little more sage to it. I just, the sage is in there, but I don't see it. No, I don't want to over-sage it. But um, hopefully I won't over-sage it, I won't over-season it. And then I'm going to stuff the cavity with bread um, uh, dressing, whatever you all call it um, nowadays. And these, uh, I have, oh, I got to remember tomorrow to get some more turkey gizzards. Uh, very few gizzards and stuff in here because I usually boil that to mix with the stuffing. But I'm telling you, nowhere else in the United States of America can you find and will you taste a turkey like this. This is an immigrant turkey. This is a God bless the United States of America turkey. This is saying that thank you to the United States of America turkey. 
And it is going to be so delicious. I tell you, the day that we conquer how to transmit smell over the media, over the TV, over the phone, over the text, over Instagram, over Snapchat, he who does that will have more money than Elon Musk and Bill Gates combined. And that is the challenge I give to my people. I'm too far gone to solve that problem, but it can be solved. And let us try to solve it. This is going to be a beautiful and tasteful meal. Just enough. And that leg, oh, I can imagine chewing down on that leg. I'm going to send you a video just of it, of how beautiful it's going to be when it's done. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America and nowhere else.